Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the Jailbreak Tweaks of the Week. These are some new, exciting Jailbreak Tweaks, man. I cannot wait to share with you guys. But first things first, of course, we have the wallpaper of the week or the wallpaper of the day. It's this one, just kind of a nice little summer vibe. Um, I was having trouble choosing between either this this well i chose this one or even this this one is really nice this one kind of remind me of the beach and you know it looks nice i'm gonna throw them all down below if you guys are interested in but without further ado let's get right into the tweaks if you guys are new around here make sure you guys subscribe with notifications on so you guys could be notified when i upload the next jailbreak tweaks of the week so tweak number one this one here is called maple and it brings the air power charging animation so it brings air power to life Showcase the animation. So I'm gonna lock my device, and as soon as I put it on my charger mat, my TV just turned off. Look what it does. So cool. It takes the wallpaper, it puts it in there, and it actually has a charging banner there. Really, really cool. And if you take AirPods, hold on. As you guys can see, you can see the charging indicators right there. It doesn't have the same animation. Um, kind of disappointed, but the developer is working on updating it, and we're gonna wait and see. I actually have the air power on uh, sound and this is a tweet called Bizon. You can change the uh, charging sound right there. So really cool tweak. And just to show you guys real quick, it does work on wire charging. So as you guys can see, it still works. So it doesn't matter if it's a wireless charger or not. The animations are a little wonky, but this is really cool nonetheless. So yeah, so this tweak right here is called Bizon. That changes the charging sound. So that's how it had the air power charging sound. And then this is Maple. Now it's pretty expensive if you ask me. $3 is a little bit much for a simple tweak, but it takes time. You got to 3 model the iPhones and AirPods, and I can understand the work behind it. But um, these are all the settings here you can enable. It, you can change the banner size you can make it small normal group them next up this one here is called bark and it makes your keyboard more oled friendly so if you have an iphone 10 10s 10s max it's gonna make your keyboard oled friendly so it's gonna save on battery life everything is nice and black um so it's just gonna save a little bit on battery life and a very very simple tweak it's kind of like blurred but blurred kind of makes the keyboard grayish and you know nude keys can accomplish the same thing but this is a free tweak nonetheless and yeah that is just bark next this one here is called hide your apps now you might have an application that you want to hide like tinder or, or or something else an app that you're not using you want to probably hide that app and this tweak is going to help you accomplish that so you know as soon as you install the tweak you got to go into your settings and you're going to tap on select apps to hide and you can literally hide any app so for example, I can hide the activity, app store, books, calculator, and calendar. And then we're going to respring it. And then we're going to see those apps gone. Now, they're not deleted. They're just going to be hidden. First thing right away, I noticed my activity, calendar. So hide your apps is going to just, you know, simply accomplish that. Hide anything. Now, my thing is, can you still search for those applications? And yes, you can. So you can still search for it when you need it. But just for now, you can hide it. You know to reduce the clutter on your home screen now right away one thing i don't like about that hide your apps thing it doesn't put your applications right back to where you had it before now i can't find my activity app now so just be aware of that now next up we have a tweet called app crumb and i gotta say very very handy i see apple adding something like this on future iOS's, I'm not even gonna guarantee iOS 13. Let's say you go into YouTube or any applications for that matter, and let's say I want to open up another application. So now normally you have like a, you know, a breadcrumb right there, but with this tweak app crumb, you can still see the YouTube application right there on the bottom. You can slide it over if you like. You can resize it. I'm actually behind the camera, so yeah, you can resize it. Could do whatever i don't know you're watching a youtube video and you want to look at your notes or you want to look at something real quick you have that option to do so now once you tap on it it launched that app if i double tap this i can interact with the notes application and if i double tap this i can interact with that so essentially you can you can really have two apps at once and let's say i'm watching a video and i want to take down some notes i could do just that i don't like how the application blurs in the background but i could still interact which is pretty cool this works for any application you got so that is far more useful than the typical ios one 
that is app crumb and that is a staple tweak in my opinion now next up we have a tweak called cam control x or cam control 10 and all it is on your iphone 10 10s or 10s max it's gonna move the top controls onto the bottom so it's easier to reach so let's say for example you're taking a selfie you can easily reach the controls on the bottom here so you have your filters instead of reaching it up all the way in the top um, it works for the portrait so you can change the bokeh effect right there and that's pretty much cam control x or cam control 10 it just moves the buttons on the top onto the bottom so it's easier to to reach a little bit more accessible and it looks clean too if you ask me next up we have a tweak called Sura. Nah, I'm just kidding, but uh, all it is, this is a really cool jailbreak tweak. You can change the um, the control center module to any color you like. So I can make it any color I like. So for instance, I'm gonna make it orange. You can move the chevron and yeah, you can even add a background too to it. But let's do one thing at a time. Let's respring it and we're gonna see the beautiful orange. So let's take it to the control center and nothing change. Isn't that amazing? Oh, I forgot to enable it. Uh, yeah, so make sure you enable it before you do anything um, and then respring. All right, so now let's take a look. And wow, look, look at that beautiful amber color. So yeah, it looks really, really clean and it even works with the platters here and the volume controls and it looks really, really nice and really, really cool. And I try to match my wallpaper, but I didn't really do the best job, but you guys get the idea. So yeah, let's see how it looks and voila. So now you have a nice little beautiful wallpaper on your control center. So really, really cool. You can really go crazy with this tweak. You know, you can have the colors matching the wallpaper and it can really look pleasing to the eyes. And yeah, you can really go crazy with this one. I really like this tweak a lot. And yeah, you guys can get really, really creative with this one. So yeah, that is Sarah. And next up, we have a tweet called Pluto. I had to step out for a second. That's why it's so late. That's why the time changed. But um, this tweak right here is called Pluto, and it's going to allow you to hide your notifications by flipping your mute switch. Um, so as you guys can see, it hides everything. You can't see your notifications whatsoever. Um, but when I flip the mute switch back, reverse, you're going to see it all over again. Now, if you have an iPhone 10, 10s, 10s Max, or even iPhone 10R, this is not going to really be all that practical just because anytime just because of face id now once you have face id once it authenticates your face boom you're gonna have it right there but one thing i don't like about this tweak it hides the media player so that that kind of sucks so for me i'm not gonna keep this on my device just because of that and you have to be forced to have your phone on uh loud so if you if you like to have your phone on vibrate then that throws it out the window you know if you're on vibrate you're just not gonna see your notifications at all Shout out to the homie Viper. Make sure you guys subscribe to Viper. He, he's doing the Friday Night Live right now. So subscribe to him. He gets basically all the tech YouTubers. Tylos of Tech. MKBHD sometimes. He even got Flossie Carter on there. So check out his channel. An awesome guy, man. I'm friends with him. And yeah, I'm supposed to be on the stream. But I'm making this video for you guys. So yeah. So shout out to Viper. I throw his channel link in the description. Now next up we have a tweak called Mitsua and it's nothing new, it's just been updated for iOS 12 and it's going to add a visualizer on the lock screen and on your music application as well as Spotify. So let me show you guys an example, a demonstration. So I'm going to play some music. As you guys can see, it's a visualizer. Now there's some settings to configure, I cannot figure out how to hide the bottom visualizer. I do like it but it may drain battery life. And it, look, it goes along with the album artwork too, as you guys can see. So it's really pleasing to look at. But for me, I think it's going to drain battery life because just think about it. You, you might want to skim through a song and this thing is just constantly moving. So I don't know. You might like it. You might want to accept the compromise of the battery life. But hey, that's you. And as well, it changes the music application too. So it's a visualizer on the music application too. As you guys can see, I'm just browsing through it. And I actually have a dark mode on my music application. That's why the whole thing is dark. So yeah, some on certain albums it's hard to see, but you can still see it. And yeah, that is Mitsua R.I.P. to Nipsey Hustle, by the way. And yeah, it's a free tweak. I think it's worth a shot. I could show you guys a uh, page bar. This is basically removing the dots on the home screen, but it's just gonna have like a little bar here. But it's nothing new at all. So I don't know. I guess we can add that as a bonus. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, I've been holding this video on ice for quite some time. I made this jailbreak video on Sunday. Um, that was the day of the NBA game. Then YouTube was down. So I decided to hold it 
until Monday, but then Monday was iOS 13, so I figured, why not, today is Wednesday, I'm gonna wrap up this jailbreak video, but before I even end it out, I'm gonna show you guys three more tweaks, these tweaks just came out, and I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, the tweaks been a little bit on the slow side, I guess the release of iOS 13, people are checking it out, and you know, browsing around, playing around with iOS 13, three new tweaks here, I'm getting ready to show you guys right now, this one here is called shypage.10s, or xs, so all it is, you guys can see on the bottom very, really closely, you have the page dots, but then it goes away when you're idle. So if you stayed on the page for a long period of time, it's going to fade away. It's kind of hard to see with this wallpaper, but you guys can really see it closely, which Apple should have redesigned the icons at least. I'm so disappointed with iOS 13 with that. But other than that, dark mode is good. Some of the new features are amazing, but the icon change is the core core of ios it's something that we're going to see every day and we're going to see those icons yet again on ios 13. now next up we have a tweet called save video dialogue so let's say you're recording a video i'm going to switch into video you're recording something and you messed up and you stop it now normally it's automatically going to save into your camera roll but with this tweak it's going to give you a dialogue asking you if you want to keep the video so you have yes and no no means it's going to delete the video and you can record again and if you like what you, if you got it right, you just tap on yes, and it's going to save onto your camera rolls, just like that. So yeah, really cool, especially if you have a 64 gigabyte iPhone recorded in 4K. And sometimes it could be a little time consuming, tap it on that, then tap it on the trash bin. It's simple, but time consuming. Like for example, you recording it, oh, you know, I'm recording it this way, I want to record the other way. You could stop it, tap on no and then record the right way. This is how everybody should be recording video. This way, not this way. This is a no-no. It's one of my biggest pet peeves, by the way, guys, in case you guys don't know me. I hate recording in portrait, always recording landscape. And the last tweak I'm gonna show you guys for today is called nano banners. It's gonna slim your banners so you guys can see. It's a nice little small banner there and it's gonna scroll if the text message is long or the notification is long so it's really good it actually saves you some screen real estate too because normally ios banners is two times the size as this so you got to see more things on your screen and if you're done with it just swipe it up and you're you're on your way now the settings here as you guys can see you have the delay you have the scroll speed and that's about it um very very simple tweak but there's something that you might like nano banners and I think it's going to be even more neater if you have an iPhone 8 or earlier because the phone endpoint is by the bezel. This is like you have the notch, so kind of mess it up with the status bar and stuff like that. I'm going to end out this video. I apologize for holding this video on ice. Some tweaks might be a little bit old, but I, you know, iOS 13, I've been making videos for you guys left and right. Ah, it's a lot, man. And I got to say, thank you guys so much for all of your support on my jailbreak videos, on my tech videos. And we hit 30,000 subscribers. So I'm going to be giving away this light bulb. A company sent me this light bulb. It's not no ordinary light bulb. It's a smart bulb. It's compatible with um, your Amazon Echo, your Google Home. And you can even control the lights using your phone. So it's using Wi-Fi capabilities. So, you know, you can control the lights even when you're away. So it's a really cool light bulb. But the reason why I don't like it too much is because you cannot change the light tone. So you cannot change it to blue. You can't change it to red. You can't even change it to regular white colors like daylight. But this is just a soft white um, light bulb but it's smart and shout out to tech city for sending out this light bulb i think you guys are going to absolutely love it especially if it's your first ever smart light bulb be able to voice control turn on and off the lights you can dim it too of course so i think you guys are going to love it so i'm going to be giving away this light bulb this smart bulb to you guys and also maybe i might give away a simply pops t-shirt maybe a always home hat i'm going to be doing a big giveaway so make sure you guys subscribe your new around here with notifications on and other than that guys this episode of the jailbreak tweaks of the week is a wrap um i'm so happy i got this stand for such a good deal the stand is working perfectly and yeah Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a simple day. Peace.